Where am I? Somewhere halfway between life and death. Child of Uchiha. Your eyes. It can't be. You're from the Uchiha clan too? <laughs> well, if you can feel pain, it means you are still alive. So you saved me? Thank you. You can thank me later. You see, I intend to make you pay me back in full. Okay, what do I need to do? I need to get back to the Hidden Leaf Village. We're in the middle of a war. And now that I've finally awakened my Sharingan, I'll be much better at protecting my allies. Protecting your allies? What? You will not be able to go on working as a ninja with that body. Wake up. Nothing in this world goes the way it should. Would you shut up already? I don't want to stay here forever. <laughs> Enough. Neither of us can get out of here. Not with these bodies. Just who are you? I am... The ghost of the Uchiha. Madara Uchiha. Uh, Madara? But Madara already died. Ages ago. Then I suppose I am a relic from the past. It is true. If I was not receiving a steady supply of chakra from that statue back there, I would be dead in an instant. I am cheating death. Why would you capture a half-dead kid like me? We are going to break the cycle of cause and effect. Create a world with only victors. With only peace. With only love. A world that contains nothing but those things. Why should I care? Look, I just want to go back to my village, okay? If you want to die, that is your choice. But I shall take that eye of yours before you do. Why do you want my eye? You, you already have your own! And I am still missing a right eye. The Sharingan's true power is unleashed. And the left and right come together, you see. So... That means if I stand shoulder to shoulder with Kakashi, I'll get even stronger. Then we'll really be able to keep Rin safe. Just another reason why I need to get out of here. Just wait, you two. I'm still alive. <laughs> I leave the rest to you. It's no use trying to act tough and hide your injuries. I've already seen them all. Rain. <laughs> he said her name again. <coughs> ah! Look, what the heck are you doing? I just saw that you had started mumbling about Rain again, so I got curious as to what kind of dream you were having. He... He always looks like such a loser when he's doing that. It's quite funny. He even drools sometimes. <laughs> hey, quit laughing, Guru Guru. Sorry. <sighs> it's been a while since I first got here. The first time I saw you, I was scared to death. You're puppets who were created from the statue, right? To us, you look like the real puppet. Yeah, you're human, yet half of your body is artificial just like ours. Worried about Madara? He went on and on about breaking the cycle of cause and effect or whatever, and then he goes to sleep forever. Oh, didn't you understand what Madara was talking about? 
basically his idea is to chuck out all the bad stuff in the world and run away to a dream world where everything's good. Since it's a dream world, you can do whatever you like. You can even bring dead people back to life. What? Now that just sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe to you. Shut up! You're way stupider than me! Bingo! <laughs> Jeez, I don't know if you're making fun of me, or if you're the idiot. But I guess there's no point in worrying about that now. I just need to get used to this body as quickly as possible. Come on, you guys, time to get to work! Okay! More rehab, right? I take it you're ready? Of course! All right. Let's fight! Sure. I'm gonna go all out this time. Get ready! Bring it on! You could have a little mercy. Don't have a little started. I'm going all out! Did you say that? in myself now. <sighs> it feels good. I've gotten more used to it than before. I really feel at home in my body now. No more awkwardness. Ring, 
Kakashi, we'll be together again soon. Oh no! Huh? I just went outside for a minute and saw that Rin person you keep talking about. She's in serious trouble! What happened? She and that Kakashi guy are surrounded by a bunch of hidden mist ninja! <laughs> You still can't break that rock yet. But I've got to go help Rin and Kakashi. Where my body then? But you work for Madara, right? Are you sure you're all right with this? You want to help your friends, don't you? Thanks, Guduguru. Okay. You are leaving? I'm grateful to you for helping me. But yes, I'm leaving now. I have to. Okay, take me straight there. Okay, leave the navigation to me. My allies are standing guard all over the world. It'll be a cinch. How does it look? Uh, pretty bad. They keep talking about hidden mist experiments. I don't really get it. But there are a couple of dozen of them surrounding Rin and Kakashi. What is Minato Sensei doing? Who? I said, what do you think you're doing, Yellow Flash of the Leaf? I think he's wrapped up in another mission. He's nowhere nearby. Just when we need him most. Kakashi, you promised. Please. You've got to protect Rain. I'll be right beside you soon. Rain? No. That spray from the collision. Rain and Kakashi are in there. What's your plan? Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna charge straight in! <laughs> what the...? <laughs> Why am I seeing things? There's no way that actually happened! Kakashi and I were supposed to... ...protect her! What an idiot! He's all alone! Take him out!
Nothing in this world goes the way it should. <laughs> Since it's a dream world, you can do whatever you like. You can even bring dead people back to life. Rain, we'll be together again. I'll make a world where we can be together again. I'm going to break the cycle. That's why I decided to come back. Do you think that anyone saw you? I'm the only witness. Obito annihilated every last one of them. But it looks like he spared Kakashi. He was unconscious, though, so he didn't see anything. Still attached to your old ally, are you? No. I just didn't care about him. It doesn't matter to me whether he lives or dies in this world. He'll join us in the new world we create. So will Reen. Madara, show me how to create the dream world. You do not need to thank me anymore. This way, as of today, you are our savior. The dream world is extremely simple to create. All you need to do is take everyone into the Genjutsu world I have created. But you need to use the moon to magnify the scale of the Jutsu. Yes. Let us see. First, I need to educate you about the Sage of the Six Paths and the Ten Tails. And then, about my project, Tsuki no Me. In a previous battle, I obtained some of Hashirama's DNA and transplanted it into my own body. And then, when I was on the brink of death, I awakened my Renegon. At the same time, I also broke a certain seal. I summoned the ghetto statue, the empty vessel of the Ten Tails from the moon. Then, I quickly used the statue as a medium to cultivate more of Hashirama's DNA. The result was this. I transferred my will into these beings. They are half me. Now, get to work, until I can be reborn. <laughs>